Hi guys! In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a crunchy dried up foam slime and I really hope that you enjoy it. The first thing we're going to need is some white glue and I recommend using a lot because the thicker your base is the more crunch your foam will have. So I used about a litre and a half and after I pulled all of that in I went ahead and grabbed some cornstarch. The cornstarch is what adds a really nice crunchy layer on the top once you leave it out so I recommend using a lot of this. I started off by using one tub and I stirred this all in with my glue and I found that it wasn't as thick as I wanted it to be so I added about a quarter of a cup more just to make it a little more thick. If you add too much cornstarch and it becomes kind of dough-like, I recommend using a foaming hand wash and this will just help to loosen the mix up. Then to make the slime more fluffy, I use two and a half cups of shaving foam and this just bulks up the mixture as well so your slime becomes a lot bigger. Whenever you make giant slimes, I do recommend using a lot of shaving foam because shaving foam for some reason makes the slime activate a lot faster and with giant foams like this, it does become so hard to stir so it just makes it a lot easier to mix in. After you've stirred it all in, you want to go ahead and choose your colour. I tried to dye this red and I didn't think that red and white would mix together and form pink but it formed a really nice coral colour and once I got it to an even colour I just went ahead and grabbed my activator and this did take a while to stir in even though I did add a lot of shaving foam but when it starts pulling together and it's still really sticky you want to start adding your foam beads or your slushy beads. I started adding some slushy beads first and then I started adding some foam beads after. The more beads that you add to your slime the less sticky the slime will become so you do want to make sure that your slime is quite holdable but it's still very very sticky when it's in your hands because this way you can add a lot of beads and it will become super crunchy. After you've mixed all your beads in you want to leave this mixture out for three to four days. You can check when it's ready by just tapping at the top and seeing whether it's hard and when it's done it creates the nicest sounds ever. 